<laughs> Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. You've got to be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Hey guys, what's up? Happy freaking new year. <laughs> Happy 2022. Let me tell you something. I will not be saying 2022 as often as I've said other years. Do you know how exhausting that feels to keep saying it? Again, in 2022, listen, this year, I'm so, <laughs> my phrase is going to be this year because you're not about to wear me out saying 2022. I'm tired of it already. Anywho, uh, welcome. If this is your first time, my name is Tia Skipper, known as the Tia Skipper. I'm known as a singer, songwriter, uh, performer, a speaker, many things. Um, but I'm here today to encourage. That's what I'm mostly known for as well. I'm here today to encourage. And I opened this video with a simple song that came to me because I needed it for myself. And I'm sure if I needed it, so many other people do. And so what I want to say to you is like, listen, be absolutely kind to yourself. You have to be because, listen, I know everybody got so many goals for this year, so many dreams for this year. Like, you just sick of it. you like, I ain't ever doing that again. I'm not ever going around that mountain again. I won't ever be in this place again. I won't ever take that again. Like, so many people are tightening the reins and, and tightening the bricks on these boundaries and everything. And that's, that's good. But even though we don't want to factor this in, you have to. You have to factor in that you're human. And I used to think like, that's an excuse, you know? And it's an excuse if you stop there and I'm human. Now that's an excuse and stop playing with me, okay? But, um, but in reality, it's a truth. It's like a, it's like an inconvenience you have to factor in. And the inconvenience of being human is that you're not always the same way. Like, you're not always in a good mood. You're not always happy. You can't control what life does. So things may happen. Things may trigger trauma. Things may, tr like, so many different things can happen. And so you have to factor in. You may, you're not going to know what those obstacles or inconveniences or things will be. But what you can count on is that you're human. So there's going to be something. <laughs> and what I'm saying is be kind to yourself. Because for whatever goals you set or whatever you want to do, wherever you want to go, we hate to admit this, but sometimes it's going to take, most times, it's going to take longer than you think. It's going to cost more than you think. And it may be even harder than you think. And during that process... There's only one person who's for sure going to be there and witness everything, and that's you. And it's going to be very easy, very easy for when things look like they're not going the way you want them to go or you're still failing at the things you swore you were going to succeed at. It's going to be very easy to be unloving towards yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes we have to have those hard conversations with ourselves. Like, look, you tripping, tripping. We said we're not doing this. What you doing? But you can have that in love. You know what I'm saying? Have that tough talk with yourself. And then get back on to whatever it is that you said you were going to do. But be kind to yourself. Everybody's transitioning. Everybody's changing into things and places we've never been before. You know? Like, I'm not saying let yourself off the hook. What I am saying is understand that for many people, you literally are doing the best that you can. And I know your, your bills may outweigh your money right now, or your dreams may be bigger than your ability to do it all, but you're still growing into that person. And let me say this too. You have to acknowledge the change and achievements that have happened 
that are not that cannot that are not postable unless you write about it. You get what I'm saying? Like you can't put um forgiveness on a flyer. Like that's not a place for people to go. You're not promoting an event. But a lot of us have worked through and learned how to forgive ourselves and other people. That's a big accomplishment. You know, you can't put revelation like like people don't reward you for having a revelation in your life. But I know last year was in 2020. Those were very strong years for revelation for me. Whereas I wanted things to click on the outside and come together on the outside. It was many things that needed to click and come together on the inside. And I needed that awareness. I needed to understand certain things that I thought I could learn later. But it was time now. And so I'm saying all that to say, sometimes we could be doing really well, but because it's not an outward accomplishment, we don't think we're doing anything or we don't think we're doing enough. Thus, that brings about the harsh, um, even harsher expectations we put on ourselves, being hard on ourselves, talking to ourselves like we're a machine instead of a person. Look at how you're better today than you were yesterday, that almost needs to become your religion. Because if you get off track and start looking at where other people are versus where you are, you will not, you won't be accurately assessing how far you've come. You'll only keep looking at how far you feel you have to go. And that constant frustration of thinking that way can create anger inside, can create just discontentment and, and depression and then isolation and a downward spiral. So I just want to say for this year, I don't know what's on your vision board and I don't know if this is on there, but I'm asking you to, to add it because this is an ingredient that you need to streamline everything that you want along this journey for whatever you're doing, you need your kindness. You need your love too. But that's a journey too. So if you're still working on self-love, that's fine. But one thing you can do in the moment right now, you can behold is kindness. You got to be kind to yourself in a way that you believe it. Um, but be kind. So we're going to leave out on this. <laughs> be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. You've got to be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. I love y'all. I'll see you soon.